Hey there, and welcome to another Ad Skills tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you install your AdWords conversion pixels with Google Tag Manager. As a reminder, my name is John Belcher, I'm the teacher here at Ad Skills, and I'll be walking you through the entire process. So, I start every tutorial by talking about what it is we're talking about. We are talking about Google AdWords conversion pixels, and the process that we go through to generate them and place them on the site. So how to create a conversion, how to install it with Google Tag Manager, and the importance of the global site tag. We're gonna talk about installing that. I've got that separated into a different video. If you check out the YouTube card in the upper right hand corner, it will link to that video to make sure you've got yours installed correctly. The real question is how does the AdWord conversion pixel make your life better? Well, it does three things. First, it tunes the Google algorithm, which is extremely important to getting results. If you can give Google more data, it will help you put your ads in front of the right people who are most likely to convert. Second, it helps you determine your campaign effectiveness. So AdWords is built that if you've got conversions in place, it can take your spend, divide it by the number of conversions, and tell you your cost per conversion, which is what we all care about, generating profit. Finally, the reason that adding an AdWords conversion is so important is it accounts for view-through conversions. So a big question that comes up is, should I just import my Google Analytics goals into AdWords in order to be able to you know, account and make it easier, take out a step of putting a conversion pixel on the site? You can do that, but the problem with Google Analytics goals is it doesn't account for view through conversions. Now that may not be a problem when it comes to search and display campaigns. You may just want to focus on last click attribution from ads and that's fine. I will tell you though, I do a ton of YouTube advertising and view through conversions are extremely important to YouTube advertising because most people open up a new tab and search for the business. So especially if you're doing YouTube advertising, you will really want to make sure that you use these conversion pixels because it's, it's honestly a life or death situation. If you're not counting for view through conversions, you're gonna think that you're getting terrible results from YouTube and you're actually doing really well. So that's super important. It's really the difference and why you want to use AdWords conversion pixels over Google Analytics goals. So what do you need in order to make this installation possible? First, you have to have an AdWords account. Second, you have to have a Tag Manager account. And third, having a Google Tag Assistant Chrome plugin makes a big difference. It allows you to verify that your AdWords conversion pixel is firing correctly. So steps to the process to actually implement this. First, we're gonna generate our new conversion pixel. Next, we're gonna make sure that we've got our global site tag installed. Once again, I'm not gonna show you how to do that part in this video. I've already created a separate video for that. So if you wanna make sure yours installed correctly, click on the YouTube card in the upper right hand corner and you'll be able to see that video. Then we're gonna go in and install our conversion pixel. You only have to do the global site tag once you have to install your conversion pixels every time you create a new one. You need to make sure you go install it on the site. And it has to, it's to fire on the exact pages that you want it to fire on. So it's really important to go through and do that. And then finally, using our tag assistant to make sure things are firing correctly. So enough talk, let's go do it. Okay, so I'm inside of AdWords. Now I wanna go create a new conversion. So I'm gonna click on the wrench in the upper right hand corner. I'm gonna to go to conversions. And it's gonna, I'm not gonna have any conversions in here. So I need to create a conversion. So you've got your choices here. What I'm gonna focus on right now are the website conversions. So you click on website. I'm just gonna call this JB. I always put my initials to know who made it. The conversion, so I'm just gonna call this ad skills example. And then this will be on, I'm just gonna put it on all pages in order to show you, you know, demonstrate how this works. You'll see it on our site pop up. The, as, you, as you go through and you actually implement these, you're gonna want these to be on specific probably thank you pages. So you just tag which page it goes on um, I always name mine whatever those thank you pages are. That's how I'd recommend you do it as well. Uh, under here for your category, I'm just gonna do these as a lead. So when it comes to the value, what I always do is recommend if you've got an, an e-commerce funnel that you're pushing people through and you know that when someone buys the main offer, if it's $7, you can set the value for $7. Um, for different values, you can go through and use dynamic properties to push e-commerce data. I'm not gonna talk about that right now or you cannot use a value. When it comes down to leads, I typically don't use a value to begin with until we know what that value is, and then I'll come in and add the same value for each conversion. Down here on the count, this is very important to make sure you get right. If you're talking about purchases, you'll want a purchase every time. Everything else, especially when it comes to leads, you only wanna count them once, otherwise you're gonna see multiple conversions if someone comes through to the same page and it's gonna really throw off your stats. So I only count once. Conversion window, you can set them for whatever you like. I always set them to the max, so 90 and 30, just to make sure that we understand, is AdWords producing results at some level? Uh, include in conversions, yes. Attribution model, last click, create and continue. So once again, 
This is the global site tag. You want to make sure this is on every page of your website. I will put a card one more time in the upper right hand corner. If you do not already have this on your site, go check out that video. It's going to show you how to do that. This global site tag is important because it's also your remarketing tag, but the actual conversion snippet that you care about is down here. So the piece when we talk about tag manager, you can go put the custom HTML tags. You just copy this and you could put it on the page. But what I do is I use the built-in AdWords conversion tag inside of Tag Manager. So you need two pieces of information. You first need this one. This is your conversion ID. So it's the 819. And then the second part is your conversion label. It's going to be this piece right here after the, uh, the slash. And so we'll head over to Tag Manager and I'll show you how this works. So inside of GTM, what I'll do is I'll create new. I'll call this JB AdWords conversion pixel example all pages and so just so you know the way I name my tags who made it what is it and which pages is it on so once again just like the conversion so triggering I'm gonna put this on all pages and then configuration I'm gonna make this an AdWords conversion tracking tag so once again conversion ID I'm gonna come back to AdWords and I need the numbers directly after the AW dash but before the slash so I'm gonna copy that and then I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to grab after the slash before the single parentheses. So I'm going to copy that. Conversion label. It's going to fire on all pages. I'll click save. Then I'm going to preview this. I'm going to head back to our site. <coughs> and so our preview should pop up and I should see a couple things. So JB, AdWords conversion pixel example, all pages, that's firing. Also, if I come up here to my Google Tag Assistant, I should see an AdWords conversion tracking 819391, so that's firing as well. So it's got everything is showing that it's firing correctly just the way we want. That's all you have to do. You're going to come back into Tag Manager, you click Submit, and you'll be off to the races making sure that you've got your conversion pixel in place for that particular conversion. So if you found this tutorial helpful and you want to learn more about Google Advertising, make sure you check out our Google Ads Pathway. It's got bulletproof YouTube ads, bulletproof AdWords ads, and bulletproof GDN ads. This course pathway is the combination of my entire experience at Google and working with my own clients afterwards, plus Justin's experience with clients on Google. It is by far the most comprehensive resource on Google advertising that's available. And so if you want to be successful on Google, we highly recommend checking it out. If you like free stuff here at AdSkills, we're going to do a quarterly giveaway. All you have to do is click on the link in the description, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Twitter. A couple actions that will get you entered multiple times for gift cards on Amazon, Xbox, Barnes & Noble, PlayStation, a ton of different places. So go check out the latest giveaway, complete the actions that we're asking, and give yourself a shot at winning a new gift card. Thanks so much, and have a great day.